folks. Steve has an outstanding show here. Every trading day also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. <coughs> now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side under Featured Content. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. Um, you have, you'll get, Steve has a huge amount of tools that he uses, plus workshops that he's did. All of that comes with Mastering Probability. Check it out here and now. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I don't know what it was like in Tampa this weekend, but it was, I would like a, a repeat of oh. the weather and and then all the just the great sports around, but we're having just beautiful weather down here. You know, no it, humidity in the seventies. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's instra extraordinary. It's totally extraordinary, folks. It really is. <laughs> That's it's great. So I just wanted to keep continuing. I, so I caught on Saturday. Uh, we went and caught a, a jazz band. Uh, not anybody that I had known. I, I, I every now and I hear a, a couple songs of his on uh, uh, satellite. Uh, I forget the name of the. A jazz station, watercolors, I think, is what it is. A guy yes. named Eric Darius. So I didn't know anything about him. Eric Turns Darius. out, Tom, he's a neighbor of yours. He is. I know Eric. I oh, oh, listen oh, to this. Oh, Eric Darius, this is crazy, man. Bridget and I, we saw Eric Darius when he was with his father like 10 oh, years ago. That's and, cool. And, and listen to this, folks. And he's a star now. And he was in the middle of an alleyway playing. Is that cool or what? Uh, yeah, that's And then great. He, he got big quick over here, okay? That okay. is so cool, Steve. Wow. Yeah. And, and he was uh, his drummer is from Orlando. Okay. I think the bass player or maybe the, the uh, guitar player is also from uh, uh, the Tampa area. So it was uh, it's cool, you know, a Central Florida band. Yeah. And it just it was just great to see. I was like, small world out there. And, and, and then, he's and talented, then, you know, isn't he? He's oh, a, very, yeah, very much so. Yeah. He's you probably know, like, I think he's probably like 28 now, maybe, huh? 30 maybe I, you know i don't don't know yeah. his don't know his age yeah. but but uh really was a, a a great show so it was nice to nice to see that and then yesterday there was such great sports on even on saturday actually i, I the, know the the girls the girls masters um you know where you got college kids that are playing i mean it was the most amazing uh set of events you first you had one girl who uh, came, who shot a six under? I think it was six under par at um, at uh, Augusta. No bogeys, which is amazing. Wow. This this coming weekend, she could sell that round to every pro yes. that's out there. And uh, and then and uh, so 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 this girl shoots six under. She ends up losing to a girl from uh, from FSU from Florida State who had to birdie three of the last four holes to go on and win. It really was extraordinary. And then and then following that. Uh, one of your neighbors, uh, Nellie Corda, she's up in your area. She wins her fourth tournament in a row. It was really, and then you had the, the women's um, uh, NCAA, you know, right. final game. It was, it was a great weekend. So I'm looking forward to tonight's game. And, uh, you know, so it, hopefully that's And then a, that's we get the game. Masters, right? Yeah, then we get the Masters so, for this coming week. So, so the, gonna, this is going to be pretty wild, man, because I'm getting used to now from watching PGA, I'm getting used to all these new names, right? Yeah. True, true. It's going to be yeah. intriguing when they both get back together, right? I mean, for the Masters, because that's what they do, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so the Masters will allow anybody who who's won the tournament. So it doesn't matter what tour you're on, you know. So okay. so some of those some of those guys from the Live Tour will uh, will be there. Mickelson, I'm sure, will be there. Right. And, you know, Dennis John, De uh, Johnson and and a number of other players will. Okay. Will certainly uh, DJ will be there and and. Uh, uh, so, but so the Masters has been kind of cool about that. They're like, hey, look, if you win this tournament, you can come here forever. Right, which it should so, be. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So on top of that, then we got the solar eclipse. I know, so I, as we're speaking, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I went out in my backyard and uh, we got these little glasses. It was pretty cool to actually see. I mean, you don't see it if you just look up at the sun, but you put the glasses on and then you can kind of see the crescent moon. Uh, Look at uh, that. That shape. Yeah, it's just really pretty uh, cool out there. But uh, I, what I thought we would do, at least for the first couple yeah. minutes here, is take a look at uh, what's the impact of the solar eclipse, because it just so happens that the folks from Seasonex, that's a tool that I use that takes a look at the seasonal patterns for so many different instruments. I, and sure enough, they had the solar eclipse as one of their I love tools. It. So, oh my God. So, 
This is the S&P 500 over a 96-year period. But the important thing is, is that there's 215 different solar eclipses um, that have occurred during this 96-year period. And the red vertical line shows us uh, where we're at today. And this would suggest that the market will finish higher today and really for the next three days out there. And then we see a bit of a dip. So it shows you 10 days before, 10 days after. So that's the S&P 500. That's pretty cool. Here's the Dow Jones, which really shows us the same thing, but this yeah. 127 years and 279 events. So both of those are suggesting that we should see a rally. Uh, it's sort of what you had, I uh, think, indicated in your in your opening out there. And yeah. gold, you know, you talk about gold. Well, what's the impact of gold? So I only have 56 years worth of data that I can pull from. Okay. And uh, uh, here, this shows that gold should rally uh, really for the next couple of days out there. So this is the effect of the solar eclipse. So Silver, Steve, solar Steve, when we look, yeah. can you just when we look at these that those peaks there on the gold, can you put that back? Is that yeah. two days? Yeah, that peak right there. Is that two days? That peak? Or is... uh, let me get back here. Yes. So uh, one, cool. two, three days. Three, three days. days. Awesome, now. man. Okay. Yeah, three, good. Three, three days. Three three days yeah. from now is is what it's suggesting. You know, and this is on average out here. Oh, I know. Listen, but and, you know what? We're so tight up at this top, man. It's it's like, you know, I almost wanted to pull the trigger or go and shot this morning. I said, don't do it. Don't do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Uh, I haven't been shot like it, I don't know, seven or eight months. This is, I think it's the longest I've ever gone not being shot. Uh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> well, if we take, I'll just kind of cruise through here. If we take a look at some of the charts. So, you know, here here's actually crude oil in the solar eclipse, kind of flat. Yeah. This is what it says. That's U.S. dollar index okay. says it should move lower for a couple of days out here, yeah. kind of in line with, you know, what we saw with regard to gold or silver out here. Yeah. If we take a look at the actual stock charts, so this is kind of interesting. So at the same time that we're supposed to see the market still rally further, and you know, and if we take a look at gold today, Tom is going to complete on the daily time frame. And that's a chart on the left is going to complete a TD nine count top today. Okay. The weekly chart is right next door to it, and it's in bar number eight. And tops can form on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. You still have to form bar number nine out there, but it looks like gold will be able to do that. So we're actually getting these topping signals here. Uh, both in the daily and the weekly time frame for gold. In the case of silver, it's off for a little bit. So silver, I don't have on a daily time frame any kind of a topping signal just yet. We might by Wednesday, Thursday. But its weekly time frame is also in bar number nine of a TD night count. So these are all suggesting, these charts here, gold yeah. and silver, are suggesting that we could or should see some type of short-term top. So regardless of the solar eclipse out there. However, we start taking a look at gold priced in these other currencies. And this chart here, the top shows us gold priced in euros, yen, Pounds and then uh, Chinese won. That's a daily time frame. The bottom panel is the weekly time frame. And we take a look at this on a daily time frame. Wow. This was as of about, uh, well, this is as of last Friday, uh, uh, this data here. So I don't have live data on this set of charts here. But price in euros, it negated a TD9 count top. Uh, and price in pounds, the same thing. Yeah. So we've got markets that are saying, even if we do move lower, it could be pretty tepid. Those, it those could chats be pretty look pretty intense, man. Those chats look pretty intense. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, we start going back and take a look at, hey, where could price go? Right now, this is the monthly chart. Here's got the horizontal trading range. If 23.39 fails, it says we could easily get up to 25.96. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great, it's going to be a blast watching these markets out here. There's no Avoid doubt. Gold and price in all these major currencies, Tom. It's, right now, everybody's a buyer. Big time. And get over to our website, folks, right under featured content, maximum probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.